What do we feel about yesterday's game, game five, all ball? What'd you see out there? Um, I'm disappointed with the Miami Heat for the last two games. Um, this is not a regular season game. This is not the first round. This is to go to the finals. Where's the sense of urgency at? Where's the where's the motivation? Where's the discipline? Where's the determination? Where's where's the toughness? Where's the scrappiness? Where's all that at? Like Forget last night, the last two games, spoke. I don't understand in sports where you can look terrible for three games and then look good for two games. Mm-hmm. I don't understand that. So even on, on, on Boston's side, like where was this at the first three games? So I don't know what kind of games they're playing, but I'm very disappointed with the Miami Heat. Um, they playing, they playing a real dangerous game. And – if they don't get it done tomorrow night, I'm guaranteeing they're getting blown off the floor, Pauls, in Boston for a game seven. And Tatum will probably have another 50-point game. Um, If they come back down from 0-3, I will have to retract my retraction for Jimmy Butler and for Spo. You cannot do that. That is not cool. I'm very disappointed. You're not going to tell me Vincent meant, means that much to that team. Stop it. No disrespect to him, good player. I would love a player like that on my team. He could shoot tough. But the way y'all playing, Jimmy Butler them on the sideline, like I said, no sense of urgency, like everything is all right. You better get it done tomorrow. You better get it done tomorrow. All that shit you was talking in this series, remember? All of this? Go ahead and lose being up 3-0. Go ahead. The smoke I'm going to have for you. You might have, you may want to come knock on my door. He might come looking for me. He's a tough guy. I like Jimmy Butler. He might come looking for me. Because you have me out here fighting and arguing and all that, man. Nah, this is bad. This is bad. And I, I can't, yo, Faith, I can't even, I can't even say it's a fix. Y'all getting blown out. It ain't like it's a close game and it's bad calls. Come on. Nah, this, this is bad. I'm not, I'm a Knicks fan. I ain't got no fight in this. No dog in this fight. I'm nervous. I'm nervous for Miami. I'm nervous. Um, I'll get to Jimmy Butler in a second. I think Miami is a lot of injuries, man. Like I, you know, don't want to make excuses. They were up three zero, um, but this team. I, I saw Jimmy Butler's press conference, or uh, some of it, where he was saying we're not we're not showing the same urgency on defense. Forget what we do on offense. We're letting the shots, the missed shots, get to us. And he he again. We talked about it before how him and Draymond are like they're they like they're real dogs. They sniff fear, they sniff what's wrong with the, with the team. You see why they're important to the organization, to the to the to to, to leadership. For him to say that he see he's he's on in on the podium, they ask him, Are you worried about making the finals? No, not worried about making the finals. Just straight face, Kobe style. And so he reminds me of. And I know you're nervous and you're you're a panicker, as you say, right? Yeah. That's not him. That ain't Jimmy Butler, even when he loses. And and I'll get to that right now. Like, why the hell is Jason Tatum a superstar? How? How is he a superstar, right? How is okay. he a superstar? And Jimmy Butler, this is what happens when you don't have another star. Hate to break it to y'all, but Jimmy Butler ain't got no Anthony Davis. Jimmy Butler ain't got a LeBron James. He ain't got the Draymond, Clay Thompson, Andrew Wiggins trade going on over there. He ain't got what Jason Tatum has with, J- with Jalen Brown. He doesn't have these things. What's who else is supposed to pick up the slack for you during a series when you don't have it? He doesn't have that backup. Anthony Towns has has called on um, Anthony Edwards has Anthony call Anthony Towns. All these guys have somebody. So when we talk about he's not a, he's no longer a superstar after going up 3-0 on the number two team after they beat the number one team. Nah, that's very disrespectful, especially when. This is uh, all we ever talk about is a bunch of second rounders and undrafted players. We got to stop doing that, man. He is the best player on this team, and they're not supposed to be this close to the finals again. They were one shot away point. last year. Like I get it. If they lose they, that that four zero thing, yeah, I get it. But it still it still is not a stain. He's always gonna be playing with house money because that's his story. He's not supposed to be LeBron James. He's not supposed to be these dudes. I believe in playoff Jimmy, man. I think they close it out in Game Six. Tomorrow night, Jason Tatum and these guys, I don't understand why they're not put, imposing themselves, but he's going to have to. Now, that's the thing. Jimmy Butler can say all he wants about everybody missing shots or whatever. You only shot t- the ball 10 times yesterday. 
And that's what he is missing. He doesn't have that that physical – physically, he's not that guy to show no, for five, no. seven games. But he's going to have to come show something because you got to close these guys out. These guys really ain't tough like that. Like We got, we can't forget about this. They got really, really got punked by Golden State, in my opinion, last year. They really were getting punked for three straight games. So they got to well, somehow yeah. get back in that bag. Well, uh, you made – damn, man, you made – that was a great take, man. Uh, applaud you for that. Like, you made some great points. Thank I'm going to disagree with you with them – not being tough. Golden State, let's be realistic. They've been there five times, bro. When you got Clay, Steph, Draymond, Wiggins, the way Wiggins was playing defense, and let's not forget, Poole was outstanding last year. So I'm not – man, I'm Boston is lucky they won two games. So I, I'm not going to say they're soft. Uh, Al Horford ain't soft. Marcus Smart ain't soft. Uh, Rob, Rob Williams ain't soft. Even the other Williams. They, 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 Jalen Brown ain't soft. I don't think Jason Tatum is soft. To me, they're just inconsistent. They're clearly the better team. I'm a big Jimmy Butler fan. Only because nobody gives him props. I'm I, Like I keep telling people, give him for five years a nucleus like everybody else. Let him hop and skip and go to the best teams. And then we can say, okay. But as of right now, nobody can do what he's doing with this roster. Like, so what it is against Jimmy with people, I don't know. But once again, I think for to be superstars, some people is going to be a superstar for different reasons. But let me get back to what you said. If they lose being up 3-0, that's bad. There's no way around that. I'm sorry. Um, will he lose his superstar status? Maybe. But I'm looking at Spolstra and him very different. You cannot be up three zip in the conference finals and you need one game to go to the chip and you let these guys come and win four straight. No. No. That's a problem. That's a problem. But, um, 